Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video or a short lovely story from Concrete. Today I think I am on a video creation marathon. This is the seventh video I am recording for the day, and my target is to record nine today. Um, I am loving to bring you the interesting content that I am I am myself finding uh, amazing. So. In this video, we are going to talk about why China's version of email marketing is so effective. Now, before getting in there, let me give you a little context. In America, a lot of communication between brands and customers happen over emails. In emails, you receive uh, offers, festive season offers, or announcements around new collections and things like that. And uh, to a certain extent it has so happened that people have started hating emails like we have a client any time we talk about email marketing he or he, he he hates emails so much that he wouldn't want to see any extra email in his inbox that busy he is and he hates when people you know do not take the due permissions to send emails etc now what is happening in china people are not so used to emails most of the communication happens through chatting apps like wechat or chatbots and stuff however the communication between the brands and the customers has gone to another level in china and that that seems like a natural evolution of commerce in china you want to see how let's get going so to give you a story to give you an example let's say someone is selling a barbecue thing okay now here a conversation is happening between the customer and the sales person and the sales person say how about you add me as a contact after buying this barbecue set so that if you have any questions uh, when you're trying to install it i can help you very quickly because i'm well versed with the product in fact if you were not able to understand any control or anything just anything i can be your guide not just this uh, i can send you some cool barbecue recipes i can also inform you about some good accessories that you can use with your barbecue set now what happens is this person who is uh, like about to buy or a prospect for the product thinks if i am going to get that kind of a personal support why not buy it because the the brand is thinking futuristically that any problems my customers are going to get i have a person in my team to solve it now this notion or this practice helps the brand breed a deeper customer loyalty isn't this brilliant let me give you one more example in fact this is live in china it's used by one of their uh, top uh, vacation companies called sea trip now what they do is very interesting let's say um, there is a group of people who uh, so there could be many people who have booked a week's vacation on same time with same flights or have similar travel itinerary now what the company does is the company puts all of those passengers who are coming from different groups actually into one group where not just uh, where, where the interaction not just happens between the sales rep from c trip but also with the fellow strangers who are no more that strange because all of them are going on same trip so what happens here is let's say if i have some problem like oh i lost my passport oh my flight got missed oh this is delayed any of these questions the sales rep can answer now once you are on the vacation the questions like which are the best places to visit is there a lot of crowd at that particular spot is it still open the questions like this the customers the um, uh, travelers answer for each other and it becomes an amazing experience when you are traveling in a foreign country amazing isn't it so uh, with this i stop here and see you soon with the next story have a good day bye bye